So during pregnancy, um, correct caloric intake is very important. Um, one of the biggest misconceptions we have um, amongst women that are pregnant is that when they're pregnant, they think they're supposed to be eating for two, literally eating for two. Although there is a baby growing in you, there are certain restrictions that need to be taken when you're um, pregnant. For instance, instead of um, consuming a whole nother big plate of food with a meal, all you really need, according to ACOG, which is our American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, is 300 extra calories a day. That could be a Snicker bar, that could be half of a sandwich, that could be a tall glass of milk. That's one of the big misconceptions. Now, if you are caring for twins, you just double that caloric intake. So instead of an extra 300 calories a day, you take an extra 600 calories a day. Now, as far as exercise goes, a lot of women feel that it's, I'm you know, already in a fragile state, why should I you know, put myself at risk for hurt, harming myself? But again, our college ACOG recommends that women can still exercise 30 minutes daily of low impact, moderate to low impact exercise daily. And that actually can help with um, lots of things during pregnancy. One of them, it can decrease the risk of um, developing um, preeclampsia and also decreases the risk of developing gestational diabetes. As far as exercise goes, there are some risks that should be known, for instance, some women don't fall into that category that can exercise. Some of those women include women that have long-standing heart disease or lung disease like severe asthma. Um, other risk factors include women that have already, of course, broken their water. They shouldn't be exercising. If they have preeclampsia, which is a condition that causes very high blood pressure, so that's a dangerous condition. And if you have something called cervical incompetence or cervical insufficiency, you should also refrain from exercising. But as long as you don't fall into those categories, you should be able to exercise 30 minutes a day, brisk walking, stationary bicycles. Some of the activities you should avoid, however, no contact sports, no horseback riding, and no scuba diving. So basic travel precautions during pregnancy includes, first off, the most critical times during pregnancy is your first trimester. So um, our college, again, ACOG, does recommend if you are gonna travel, the best time to travel is between 14 and 28 weeks. That excludes your first trimester and your late third trimester, which is when a lot of emergencies tend to happen. Also things you need to look at is what kind of traveling are you doing? Or if you're doing air travel, most airlines won't allow you to travel past 36 weeks. If you're doing international flying, it's also less than that. You often will need a doctor's excuse if you have to travel on the plane. In terms of long distance driving with your car, we recommend no more than five to six hours in the car at a time because of the increased risk of um, blood clots that can form in your legs or in your chest. Other big things include if you're gonna do international travel, so be aware of kind of the environment that you're going to. One website that you can choose or investigate, you know, the atmosphere climate that you're going to is the cdc.gov and they'll kind of tell you what are some prevalent diseases or health risks in that area. One big thing that's going on right now, of course, is the Zika virus. Um, it's a virus that um, is being carried by mosquitoes. It started off in South America and it's affected lots of places in the Caribbean. And currently, there's been a lot of cases um, reported in the southern states. So for women right now, for traveling, if you're going to be in those areas or if you're around somebody who has been to those areas, just taking precautions, it is sexually transmitted. So if you know that the, the um, someone has gone down there that is male and you happen to be having relations with them, they should use condoms. And also for yourself, um, currently they recommend um, wearing light long sleeve clothing, either long pants or long sleeve shirt, and light insect repellent to help prevent the risk of infection from the mosquito.